Okay, Mark, it's time. Take all the time you need and tell us where you've decided to play college basketball. Yes, thank you. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank God for um, blessing me my abilities and just blessing me to get to where I'm at now. And I want to thank my mom and dad for all the sacrifices they have given me and just giving me the platform to showcase my abilities my whole life and just giving me everything I ever needed. And I thank my brother Brandon for pushing me uh, all the time. You know, even we got in some battles, some wars, but you know, it all paid off in the end. I want to thank all my coaches that I've had uh, over the years, too many to name, but also I want to thank Alan Skeens for pushing me when I was younger. It's helped me be the person I am now, and uh, Coach LJ for just taking me under his arm just when I was in eighth grade and just all the way through high school and just always having that relationship with me. I want to thank the uh, Bishop Mies community for welcoming me for three years to always be home. I want to thank Coach Zeke, Coach Greb, uh, Coach Luke, just for giving me the opportunity to be here now, and, um, and uh, anyone else who has helped me along the way. And with that being said, next year I'll be joining the Brotherhood of Duke University. Five-star small forward Mark Mitchell committing to the Duke Blue Devils for playing college basketball, part of the class of 2022. Uh, Mark, if you can hear me, what was the deciding factor for choosing this program? Yeah, I just think the relationships I built with the people inside the program, you know, me and Coach Shire, we talk every day, you know, he just getting to, gotten to know me as a person and just, you know, um, talking with Kyle and Derek and Derek and Jaden and just getting to know them as people and going on visits with them. Just, uh, I th think they're just people I want to be around and play with and I think we can do some special things together. How close was this decision for you when you looked at the programs that you were considering? Yeah, it was a tough decision, you know, I went back and forth for a long time, but you know, I think I just followed my heart and just really just that's what really led me to um, become a Blue Devil. How much did Coach Shire factor into your choice? I mean, you said you speak to him every day, but I mean, what is it about that feel that made you comfortable enough to decide to commit to this program? Yeah, I know he's won a national championship before. He's been an All-American player, you know, so I know what he knows what he's talking about. He's been behind Coach K for many years, and um, I think he's, he's ready to step into this um, new journey ahead of him and I think uh, he'll be great at it. In uh, thanking in your lead up to the announcement you mentioned that uh, you wanted to thank your brother for pushing you. How did he push you? Yeah, he's been pushing me for years, you know. Um, him and my dad just like all the time. I mean, we get in arguments, get in wars, but it's all love at the end of the day. You also thanked your coaches. What have your coaches taught you along the way about your game and the game in general? Uh, you know, I think it's time you just not to be one dimensional. You know, I'm a, a special player and just I was always bigger than other kids, but always just to work on my skills and develop other parts of my game. So I just always did that and it uh, paid off in the long run. All right, Mark, time to address the Blue Devils faithful. Tell them what kind of player they're getting. Uh, they're getting a versatile, 6'8", just do it all type of player that can just, just help you win in any type of way he needs to. And uh, just you're going to try to win every time you step out on the court. Mark, congratulations. Thanks for making the announcement here with us on HQ. All the best as you push your career forward, and good luck the rest of the season with the Buffaloes. Yeah, thank you. According to the 24-7 Sports Composite Index, Mitchell ranks as the best player in Kansas. He's the third best small forward, the 10th best overall player in the nation, and he now joins a top-ranked recruiting class at Duke, and his addition means John Shire now has four of the top 10 players in the country. He's the second combo forward they brought in alongside Derek Whitehead. His addition to the Bears, uh, his addition to the Bears would have vaulted them up, but instead, he's off to Duke. And now that the decision is made, let's welcome back Eric Bossy from 24-7 Sports for some post-decision thoughts. Crystal Ball, right again. Eric, why is Mitchell a good fit for this Blue Devils program? I'm kind of what we talked about. He's one of those guys who can plug and play with any system and with any type of people around him. But also, uh, he gives them an element that they, that they, they probably aren't going to have next year, you know, prior to his commitment and his ability to handle and create from that small ball four position and be a real blend guy who... You don't really have to run a lot of plays for him or anything like that. He just gets things done in the flow, and he's, he's a really unselfish player. Um, what really stood out to me in, in speaking with Mark prior to the decision is he, he's – all these guys want to go to the NBA, right? And that's clearly his, his plan, his focus. But 
he doesn't want to skip steps. And he said, you know, whatever's going to happen in the future is whatever's going to happen. You know, my focus needs to be here at Duke and what I've got going there. And guys who come with that mindset generally tend to, to make a nice addition, make the transition well. And I just think he's built for it. He's a, he's a humble kid. He's been very well coached on the, on the, on the summer level at Bishop Miege prior to going to Sunrise Christian. And now at Sunrise Christian, he's getting coaching and a national schedule. He's just prepared. He's mature. He's, he's what you look for in a college coach. How quickly can he make an impact on this program? The impact is going to be instant, I think. Um, I'd be surprised if he doesn't start or at least push for heavy minutes coming in, re regardless of how awesome the recruiting class is, because he's just one of those guys that you're better when he's on the floor. Um, the jump shot still needs a little bit of work if, if we're talking about an analysis and where he can get better and, and provide a little bit more. But the ball handling, the rebound, the, the, the defensive versatility – it's all there for him to come in, you know, be a guy who starts and, you know, maybe, maybe not a one and done player, but definitely a guy who could be heading off to the NBA within a couple of years, but also a guy that could plant some roots in Durham for a little while and be there for, for a few seasons to help them win. Eric, he's the fourth five star that they've added. I mean, this Duke program is loaded for 2022, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And, and, and hats off to John Shire. Um, the questions are going to keep being asked until he actually gets a chance to go out there and coach of, you know, how is he going to be as a head coach? But to get this caliber of player to put their faith in him as a head coach with no experience really says a lot to his ability to, to build relationships, what the former players say about him. And I think what really stands out, and this is one of the things Mark pointed out to me is, you know, no, he doesn't have experience as a head coach, but... He sure got a lot of experience at Duke and what makes Duke work and what makes Duke tick. And that's allowed these young men to put their faith in him to, to help develop them for the future. I mean, when you look at these five stars, I mean, in terms of the recruiting class here, are we looking at one of the best recruiting classes ever for Duke? Um, you know, years vary. Um, 2022 isn't as strong a class as some others have been. And for instance, like Derek Lively, while well, he's awesome, uh, reclassification of guys moving up to the class of 2021 or a guy like Scoot Henderson skipping out on a senior year to head to the G League probably eliminated the top five guys who would have been ranked number one ahead of him but he's still number one in this class and you know for the top 11 is is incredible now we just got to see what they can do together on the floor. Eric Bossy from 24-7 Sports joining us to discuss the commitment of Mark Mitchell to the Blue Devils part of their class of 2022 the top rated class in the nation. Thanks Eric. For more from the recruiting trail, be sure to check out 24-7 Sports for all the latest news and profiles. The industry-leading composite index giving you that national perspective on each recruit and drilling it right down to state level as well and based on their positions. Head over to 247sports.com for all that and plenty more.